Richard P. of Feynman, surely you're joking, Mr. Feynman, Adventures of a Curious Character. Embark on a captivating journey through the vibrant anecdotes of Richard Feynman, a Nobel Prize-winning physicist whose curiosity and humor illuminate his adventures in, surely you're joking, Mr. Feynman. This book offers a glimpse into the unconventional life of Feynman, touching on themes of intellectual humility, the joy of discovery, and the challenges of fame. Readers can anticipate a collection of engaging stories highlighting Feynman's playful side, from his initial disbelief at winning the Nobel Prize to his creative solutions for filtering audiences truly interested in his work. This summary demystifies these episodes, showcasing Feynman's witty, yet insightful reflections on the nature of learning and the importance of authentic passion in scientific pursuits. Feynman's Unwanted Honor One early morning, Richard Feynman received a 4.30 a.m. call with unexpected news, he had won the Nobel Prize in Physics. Initially dismissing it as a prank, he quickly realized the truth, but not without reservations and doubts about accepting such an honor. Even his wife was skeptical at first, suspecting another of his notorious jokes. As the news settled, Feynman pondered the possibility of declining the award without causing a scandal. He reached out to a journalist for advice, who informed him that refusal wasn't a viable path without incurring controversy. Resigned to participating in the ensuing ceremonies, Feynman reluctantly faced a barrage of formalities. The Swedish consulate in Los Angeles proposed hosting a lavish reception in his honor, but the vast discrepancy between his modest guest list and the consulate's 300-strong roster of dignitaries emphasized his discomfort with the fanfare. His solution was to cancel the event entirely, much to the relief of the consulate organizer who shared his sentiments. The only remaining hurdle was the thank-you speech, a chore Feynman approached with characteristic ingenuity. Balancing honesty with obligatory decorum, he crafted a speech that acknowledged his fulfillment through the joy of discovery and personal growth throughout his career, rather than accolades. He shared that letters of congratulations from old friends held greater value than the award itself. In the end, Feynman masterfully fulfilled social expectations while staying true to his own principles, turning a potential ordeal into a celebration of authentic achievement. Feynman's Humble Ruse After winning the Nobel Prize, Richard Feynman found himself repeatedly addressing audiences far larger than anticipated at his public talks across the United States. He meticulously prepared complex lectures aimed at advanced physics students, yet his audiences far exceeded the number of such specialized learners he expected. Perplexed by this, Feynman desired to genuinely connect with those truly interested in physics, without the distraction of fame. His solution came during an invitation to the University of California, Irvine. Feynman and the students concocted a playful yet strategic plan, assigning a dull title to the lecture and attributing it to a fictitious professor, Henry Warren. This clever disguise filtered the audience, ensuring only earnest students passionate about intricate physics topics like proton structure attended. Post-lecture, however, the faculty advisor was dismayed to have been left out of the jest, believing Feynman's renowned name would have drawn a larger crowd. Yet, attracting a mass audience was precisely what Feynman sought to evade. He favored speaking to small, committed groups who shared his enthusiasm for the finer details of physics. Upon learning that the ruse had caused trouble for the students, Feynman promptly took responsibility. In a heartfelt apology, he lamented the burdens his Nobel Prize had imposed, unwanted fame and the expectation to constantly engage broader public interest. Above all, Feynman wished to simply ignite a passion for physics within aspiring young scientists. His priority was to inspire, not entertain large, disengaged crowds. Through his clever escapades and candid introspections, Richard Feynman imparts timeless wisdom on living authentically and pursuing knowledge with fervor. His story of skeptically accepting the Nobel Prize and crafting insightful lectures for genuinely interested audiences underscores his aversion to the superficialities of fame. Feynman's experiences reveal a profound commitment to inspiring true curiosity and exploration among aspiring physicists. 
This summary encapsulates the essence of his adventures, how one can find immense value and satisfaction in the very process of discovery itself. In doing so, it leaves readers with an enduring message, true fulfillment springs not from accolades, but from the joyous pursuit of understanding and the thrill of unearthing knowledge.